I'm going to show you how I made this product morph video. Now I used CapCut, but I'm also going to show you how you can use InShot if that's the app that you use. First, you're going to need to have product photos. Now these can be pictures that you take yourself. And if you're doing that, make sure that your phone is not moving and you have some way of placing products in the exact same spot for every single picture. Now another option, maybe even a better option, is just download the images off of your corporate site and upload them into Canva. I'm using an Instagram story sized canvas and in the elements area, type in the type of a background you're looking for as a photograph, find one that you like and then set it to background. From here, I'm going back into elements and I'm going to add a line. This line I'm going to position in the lower third of my screen. I'm gonna change the color to a brighter color and I'm gonna make it a little bit wider so I can see it. This is just so I know where I'm going to place my product images. This is my background template going forward. So tap on the screen and you'll see the three dots at the top. Tap on those and select duplicate. You're going to duplicate this screen for every picture that you plan to show. So let me go ahead and quickly duplicate these. Once we finish duplicating this, let's go back to the first one. And now we're going to start adding in our products. So I'll go to the uploads area here in Canva. I'll find my product and I need to remove the background. So you do need the paid feature of, or paid version of Canva to do this. I'm gonna remove the background, enlarge the product, and you see I'm just placing it over that pink line because that's my, my marker, so to speak. Now to remove that pink line, at the bottom of the menu, I need to scroll along and find the term layers. Tap layers and it shows you the three layers that we already have here. Select the pink rectangle, that's my line, and once that's selected, there on the screen you can see it's highlighted. I can then easily drag it out of the way and when I tap on it, I'll see the trash can there to remove it. So that's how we remove the pink line. We're going to follow the same process for every single product that you want to add to a image. You'll grab it from the uploads, place it over the pink line after you've removed the background, and then you'll go through that same process of finding the layers to remove that pink line. You'll follow this process for every picture that you want to show in this little morph video of products. And when you're finished, save all of these images to your camera roll. Let me show you how to do this in InShot first. We're going to go and create a new video and we'll add in the pictures that we've just created in Canva and save to our phones. It pulls them in and we want to change the length of time for each picture down to you know a second and a half, maybe two seconds. So go ahead on each picture, tap the bottom and then just drag them to the appropriate timeline. Once you have that set up, We'll move everything back over to the left and tap on the little white square that's in between each of those images. These are the transitions. Look for the dissolve line and go to the one that's fifth from the left. Apply that to all of the images and there you have your morph. You can then go in and add your text that you'd like to include. Just keep in mind of watermarks that are gonna show up when you place this on social media and so avoid the boundary areas. Tap the square with the arrow at the top to save it to your camera roll and you're ready to post. Next, I'll show you how to do the same thing inside of CapCut. Inside of CapCut, tap New Project and pull in the pictures that we've created from Canva. And just like we did with InShot, we're going to tap on these pictures in that timeline and shorten them down to about, oh, a second and a half to two seconds a piece. Once you've done that, you're going to export this as a video file and save it to your camera roll. Go back into CapCut, new project, pull in the video that you just saved, and now we're gonna scroll along the bottom, make sure you've outlined your video there in white. Scroll along the bottom until you find motion blur. You need a paid version to do this. Adjust these two lines here, the blur line and the one below it, change those to 75. So just drag those to the right, and then under time, you're gonna to go to six click the check mark, add in whatever text you want to include. Again, as we're adding text, you wanna be sure that when you're placing it, you're avoiding any of the um, edge areas because there will be watermarks wherever you're uploading and you don't want it to get cut off. So add your words and then let's make sure that it's running through the length of the video. There we go. Now let's just play it through very quickly and make sure it's working. Yep we're set to go. So tap export and that will save the whole video to your camera roll.